show i am here with and bill hartzer bill hartzer the bill hartzer who's been doing seo since 1996 he's a blogger a speaker a podcaster an seo one of those famous ones from dallas he's an author at search engine journal and tons of other places a course instructor top level domain expert new gtld expert he's also an expert witness and he offers consulting auditing and more at billhartzer.com welcome aboard bill Hi, Bill. <laughs> so quick question. When you are planning to move to a new domain, what are things that you should be looking for and what are the steps for that? That's a good question. The key here is we want to do things slowly. For example, we just don't want to do all sorts of things at once like redirects and change the content on our site and do all sorts of things and do it quickly. And because the search engines, especially Google gets really confused and that's where a kind of a disaster happens. Time is on our side. I, I know that sometimes we wake, you know, there are some cases where we wake up and we go to work and, oh, our company was bought last night. And, oh, now we have to move to a new domain name and, and all that. And sometimes that happens that we have to do that quickly. There's other times where we don't, where, where we might sell our domain name and we can't do redirects. But the ideal situation is we do everything slowly. And so, for example, we have a new domain name. We need to give it time. We need to put a website on it, even if it's a couple pages, some landing pages. And we know it's not going to rank right now, but we need to get it crawled and indexed and start. Google needs to figure out what that website is about and give it some time. If it's an expired domain or something like that, we want to make sure that there's no problems with it, that there's no, we want to verify it at Search Console, there's no penalties. There's no weird links pointing to it. There's no weird things going on. We want to give it time. We want to you know, establish the some content on it, get it crawled, get it indexed. And that may take a couple of weeks. And then basically we may want to include a new site design with a new logo. We might redesign the site. We might want to change or change content, or we might want to actually combine content, do some things like that. Combining content and changing URLs internally and so forth. We'd want to do that on the current domain before we move. We want, you know, so we want to do any content changes, even a logo change potentially, and redesign, do that on the current domain and let that settle down. And then once that part is taken care of, then at that point, we're just going to do a domain change where we're only changing the domain name. That's a super, super point, Bill, because I've always... And I can't remember if I read something in a patent or somewhere which led me to believe this. I, I can't quote where I had this thought from, but I've always had a thought that before, like you do a redirect, that Google is going to look at their last cached snapshot of the page that it was prior, match mm -hmm. it up to what are you 301 redirecting it to? How much does this match? If it's the same exact thing, like you said, do the changes here first. And then, you know, you're moving over here and like, yep, it's the same exact thing, like better. If you're like, yep. here's this and here's a radical change over here and redirect this over to here, Google's going to look at that last snapshot and say, this is a lot different what's over here. So that's mm -hmm. a really important point that like, do your changes here. And I usually, I try and have them match at one point, you know, have your old one look like the new one, have, you know, have them both be the same, have Google index them both. Yeah. It's kind of duplicate, but then move it over. So Google's like, all right, this is exactly what this is. Yep. Exactly. So we don't really want to do all those different things at once. We want to, you know, do it in stages, plan it out and so forth. And then at the last thing we want to do is just changing the domain, yeah. um, where it's only the domain name change. You're not changing anything else and so forth. That's the ideal situation. Back in the, the Matt Cuts days, 
I keep on going back to this example because this is the biggest, most public example that was put out there. And there was even a New York Times article, part of this, uh, part of this. What happened was, is there was this guy who, who was a, the president of a nut company then, and they do nuts. They do uh, gift baskets with peanuts and walnuts and, and all sorts of, and here's a 150 year old company. His grandfather, a great grandfather started the company and now it's passed down and so forth. And they had this domain, this was uh, early 2000s. They had this domain, nutsonline.com. And he was on the Rachel Ray show. Rachel Ray turns to him and says, okay, what's your website? Is your, web- your website is nuts.com, right? That's a, and, and he said, no, it's actually nutsonline.com. And he said, you know what? After that episode, I made sure that I needed to go buy nuts.com because that is the holy grail of my business. Yeah. Okay. And everybody was thinking that that was that's our website. Well, unfortunately, it took him a year or so to negotiate and find the guy who owned nuts.com. It turns out, on, unfortunately for him, nuts.com was a, an adult website <sighs> um, owned by, by somebody in the UK. And he negotiated for you know a million or two million dollars to buy that website. And November, it was October, November, he bought the domain name. This was right before the holiday season. He was doing really well with rankings and traffic organically. And he in October, November, he switched his domain name and redirected it from nuts online to nuts.com within days. All his rankings, all his traffic, everything went down. He said, well, what's what's going on? He said, Google did something and it's all Google's fault. And here we are with a New York Times article. And it's that's actually yeah, still out there. It's an interesting read. A full New York Times article about the fact that Google and rankings and SEO and this guy changed this, paid all this money for a domain name and everything. They quoted Matt Cutts in there saying, basically what he needed to do is the fact that the website was on a different topic. Okay. An adult topic. Google still knew that as an adult website. And so what happened is he needed to establish peanuts and nuts related content on the new domain, give it six months. And that's what Google, you know, that's what Matt Cutts said at the time, give it six months and then make the switch over. I thought Google may have had, and I, I totally could be wrong on this. Does Google have a thing where you can say that like, I bought this site and give me new history or am I wrong on that? I can't remember. There's two things. There have been situations where um, I had a client who bought a domain name and literally they they upgraded to a better domain name. I mean, in that particular situation, they actually, the, the old domain name, which was the better name, like keyword.com, that actually had been spammed and had a, ma- a manual penalty for content, a mm-hmm. manual content penalty. When they moved, they had done this prior research and they moved and they had a manual action on it. They basically, the appeal to that manual action was, hey, we don't longer have that that bad content on our site. We bought this domain. And then in that case, they lifted the penalty. They cleaned everything out. And everything was fine within days. Now, the exception, the other exception would be the change of address tool where you actually go through the process, you do the 301 redirect and um, tell them you officially have moved. Now, the only other thing that is that is worth mentioning is that if you were to not use the, the change of address tool and you just bought another domain, never, ever, 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 ever redirect that domain name to your, your website's homepage because it is going to be seen as a soft 404 error. And you will not get any link juice, any credit, any page rank will not page rank will not pass if you redirect that domain to your homepage. Hmm. However, if you redirect it to an internal page, everything will be cool and you'll get you'll get that plus link credit 
will pass to your internal, you know, to an internal page on your site. Fuck around when your rankings go up.